What's up everybody? It's your man Gillis the Kid. Welcome back. And we have a special review of the Galaxy S8. Uh, I have it right here on my special carrier T-Mobile. And we're going to open this and show you guys exactly what Samsung is up to this time. Let's open this up. Oh wow, so here's the phone, if I can get it out, alright here's the phone right here, uh, it looks like a mini Note 7, this is the Midnight Black, I'm gonna put that right there, in the box you get like all the stuff, you get the, I got the T-Mobile SIM card right here, let's open this up. And basically in the box, this is what you get. Um, I'll show you. So you get the uh, USB connector right there. There's also um, a micro USB type C adapter. They give you the uh, adaptive fast charger you definitely want to use that um, micro USB plug or not the plug the cord and then they have the uh, this is something new the 8kg headphones that they give you premium this time really nice uh, let me see, what's this? Oh, extra head buds. So that's good. So we're going to turn this on. Okay. So the one thing you're going to notice right away is that um, Samsung removed like the bezels from the S from the S7. So it's all screen now. I think it's a I think it's like an 18.9 ratio or something like that. It's the same as the LG G6 ratio. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you'll notice right here on the back they got the dual the dual megapixel, they put the camera and the fingerprint scanner right there. Uh, the screen wraps all the way around. They got the power button. You have the volume rockers right here. It's hard to see because this is the midnight black, but the volume rockers are right here and they have like a dedicated uh, big speed button, they call it which is um, Samsung's voice assistant. I don't know why Samsung is always trying to compete with Google. Um, I don't really think anyone is going to use it, but um, they have a dedicated home button now for it. So um, There's also a lot of other apps that Samsung has. It's basically the same as Google, but if you use it, then that's fine. Um, so I just wanted to get into the specs of this phone. There is a plus version, but you know I just picked the um, I just picked the smaller version. I don't really like big phones. So um, let's look at the design. Like I said, it's a 18.9 ratio screen. Um, if you look right here, they got the. Uh, front facing camera that's 8 megapixels with the sensor on there if you look at the bottom uh, let's see if you can see that they they kept the headphone jack the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack they got a um, micro USB type C now so that's good they got the microphone and the speaker right there so that's a big plus having a micro USB Type-C is a big plus. As a matter of fact, um, you want to use 
the one that Samsung gives you, but I also have this right here. I'll show you. You can you can pick up something like this. This is called like a platinum uh, micro USB Type C, and on the end they have like the uh, Type A. This is just a platinum cord that I got, um, just for backup. But you want to use Samsung's version. But if you ever you uh, if you ever lose the one that came with Samsung, uh, you can definitely pick up something like this. But I only keep stuff like this for backup. This is called um, platinum uh, micro USB Type C. So you can definitely get something like that. So let's look at the specs of this phone. Um, the screen is a 5.8 display, 14 by 40 by uh, 2960 pixels. So it's it's really good. You got the let's go in the back right here. You got the 12 megapixel camera. And I know what you're thinking, 12 megapixels, um, Samsung claims that the software is going to make the camera really good. So even though it has the same megapixels as last year, it still should be pretty, pretty swell. Um, Android Nougat, out of the box. It's got 4 gigs of RAM. It's got a 3000 milliamp battery, which is also the same from um the galaxy s7 um i don't think samsung should have upped the battery they they basically played it safe because of what happened with the note 7 um but that's good 3000 milliamp is good for some for some people it's not but i never had a problem with the s7 battery it always lasted all day but um, like I said, Samsung said the software on this phone is actually going to make the battery better. Plus it has the um, updated processor, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, this is a really thin phone and it feels really good in your hands. The screen wraps all the way around so you can hold it better. It feels just like the Note 7. If you ever had the Note 7, um, it has that feel to it. That's why I said it's sort of it's sort of like a mini Note 7. But um let's get back to the specs. Uh Gorilla Glass 5. It's got um the nano SIM card. Some phones in Europe have a dual SIM. I don't think uh the phones in uh the United States get the dual SIM. Um comes with 64 gigs of storage. So that's good. Probably that's why it cost um, $750 too. Um, you also get uh, expandable memory. So you can put a micro SD card in this phone. I think it goes up to like 256. But 64 gigs is good for me. I do play a lot of video games. So um, I do have an SD card though. And if you pre-ordered the phone, uh, Samsung was giving you uh, the wireless AKG headphones. Not the little ones I just showed you, but there was actually bigger headphones. Sort of, They look sort of like the Beats, but for $100 more, if you pre-ordered the phone, they would give you the headphones and the 256 gig memory card. Which was a great deal because if you try and buy a 256 gig memory card, that's going to run you about $200. So you got all that um, for 100 bucks. It's like a $500 value. Um, I'm going to sign up for the uh, the Gear VRs now that I got the phone. So that should be coming really soon. Um, so yeah, it's got the Android Nougat. Um, the octa-core processor, I think, yeah, it's the, uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 835, that's the U.S. model, I'm not sure about, um, what came over in Europe, but this has the new, um, Snapdragon 835, so this phone should be really, really snappy, 
let's actually go in it doesn't have a home button anymore it, it sort of has one of those taptic uh feedback buttons like um like the iphone uh, and you can feel it too when you hit it like it'll um it'll vibrate like right here and uh so uh it's got 64 gigs uh new computer chip shoots in 4k 12 megapixel camera uh one of the other new features is the bluetooth which is 5.0 and that basically means you can connect up to two devices with this new bluetooth so that's really good um like i said usb type c all the new phones uh coming in 2007 and beyond is going to have a uh, usb type c um as always samsung brings out a lot of different um accessories like uh keyboard cover they got something called samsung uh dex which is a desktop uh it's a desktop um platform where you can stick the phone in and it can show up on the computer uh it it also charges your phone too um this this has a um, wireless charging and uh it's water resistant just like the previous uh phones that Samsung came out and um i think that's about it as far as the specs go um yeah so we can basically let me show you this real quick so once you're into the phone, you can actually um, you can actually swipe up like this, and then um, you get the app tray. This is where all your apps are going to be. Um, and like I said, there's no more physical buttons. Everything is on screen now. Uh, if you swipe over to the left you will meet Bixby and Bixby is basically Samsung's voice assistant. Um, you can also hit the button here on the side to bring it up. Um, I probably won't use this, but I will mess around with it. Um, but like I said, don't know why Samsung needs his own voice assistant. If you hit this uh, home button right here, it actually brings up like Google's own voice assistant and stuff like that. And that's what I've always used. I don't need two different voice assistants. So, um, as you swipe down from the top, it's going to give you like the clean interface of uh, Android Nougat. This is where all your notifications and stuff is going to be. Nothing, uh, nothing too different. It is it is a little bit cleaner, I can say. There's no lag whatsoever. We'll see once I load all my stuff up. But so far, there's been no lag with this phone. Um, oh, they got the edge feature. They brought that back. I never really used that either, but it's here. <laughs> so, just another thing you can use. Let's go back. Um, let's go into the settings real quick. I just want to see. Yeah, we got, uh, you know, the Samsung Cloud and stuff like that. Model number. Okay. Yeah, so um, this, this is a great phone. I'm going to be doing um, some more tests. On this phone just to see how the battery lasts. Um, I want to test out the speed and see if there's uh, any lag with this. I don't think it is but you never know. But this feels great in your hand. Um, we can actually test out the camera a little bit. Let me see. Yeah. What's this big speed vision? It's like Bixby everything on here. So, um, yeah, let me get something real quick. Show you this.
it might be a little too hard to see here's the camera right here you can see the detail Samsung always had pretty good cameras this is my uh my dragon chain I'm actually shooting this video with the with the s7 so I mean if you have an older Samsung phone and you just wanted to upgrade to the 7 just to save some money that's perfectly fine because it's not like the camera software is going to get old I mean look at this I'm holding this right here in front of the s7 and it's still a great camera uh, I'm pretty sure the s7 is going to get like a lot of updates farther into 2007 but I mean if you have the money you can always grab the 8 it is uh this is $750 on T-Mobile I don't know about Verizon and AT&T um, there is a plus model um, I think the screen display is uh, 6.2 it's pretty big pretty big and narrow for my taste but if you like a bigger screen that would be the way to go um, what else could I say about this phone I mean it's it's really beautiful um, I would give it a try like I said it is pricey so we'll see in the coming months how this thing runs because I'm definitely going to put it to the test I'm going to uh, I'm going to be shooting some more videos with this I'm going to have um, some more uh, games and hands-on video just to just to give the computer processor a whirl yeah this is this is really nice but I wanted to ask you uh, is Samsung the king of Android phones they're definitely not the first people who came up with a display like this I think the Mi Max in China came up with like the 18.9 ratio first but uh, is Samsung the king of Android phones feel free to put a comment down and you can drop a like if you enjoyed this uh, video review commentary um, yeah this is a uh, this is really nice. I'm going to I'm going to play around with this a lot. I'm going to have some more reviews. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.